Cotton Epic. Hey guys, welcome back to Run Junkie. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm not in the studio. I'm not in Austin, and also my boy Adam ain't with me because it's Thanksgiving weekend. I'm at my parents' house, but I still got to give you the news. So I use my MacBook. I'm in photo booth, so I'm going to give you the news the best way possible. Starting with Patrick Tiernan. What a run, let me tell you. He took down Cheserek in dramatic fashion. Cheserek going for the 4P, and the Aussie put an end to that quest. Taking him down, made a big move with 2K to go. Cheserek could not respond Justin Knight responded, but Justin Knight couldn't keep going in that final K. And Tiernan, in his final collegiate race, takes home his first ever NCAA victory. And on the women's side, it was Carissa Swicer from Missouri, the junior, who did not make NCAAs last year, has a 5K PB of 15.58, yet she wins. She takes down Finn, she takes down Rora, she takes down Pelican, she takes down Wright, she takes down everyone, and she doesn't lead until like the final 20 meters. Schweizer, you are amazing. And that women's team race, we did not expect. I didn't expect it, you didn't expect it, none of us expected it because we thought Colorado was just going to run away with it. We thought that they were too good to, too, too big to fail, but they did. And it was an Oregon. Oregon, Michigan battle, and it came down to just one point, not two, one. Ooh, 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 hold on. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. One point came down to one point. It wasn't. It wasn't Aaron Finn. It wasn't top girls like Katie Rainsberger, Ali Cash, or all them. It came down to Maggie Schmadick and Jamie Phelan. They were separated by less than a tenth. Less than a tenth. Their time on the results is the exact same, but a lean. Straight up lean was the difference between a national team title and a runner-up finish. Big ups, the Oregon Ducks weren't even in top 10. And now, they're national champs. It's okay, Colorado, though. I know you're sad. I know you're like, hey, we should have won. Yeah, you should have, but it doesn't matter because you return your top six. So, 2017, the buffs. That's, what am I doing? High five. Whoa. Go check it out. Perfect symmetry. On the men's side, it was NAU taking the title. They were been they've been number one number one since Wisconsin Invitational. They take down all the top teams. We thought it was a six team race. They come up on top. Footsome, uh Eric Hines. Having a nice little swan song of last, you know, Footsum's done with his career. You got Eric Hines who's done with his career. Such a great finish for the NAU Lumberjacks. And not to toot our own horn, but back in 2014, I think we did a program on the Colorado Buffs who then went on to win. 2015, we did a program on the New Mexico women who then went on to win. And in 2016, NAU men went on to win. I'm not saying we predict the champs, but I'm not saying we don't predict. So 2017 applications are open. Dear coaches, let us come film you in the preseason and you win a national title. And let's not forget, got to give a big, big, big shout out to my boys at Ole Miss getting a fourth place finish. No one was talking about them this season. They were this, the forgotten team, but they show up when it counts, get fourth. They beat Arkansas, which is a great team. They beat Colorado. They beat they beat BYU. They beat Oregon. They beat all these teams to get fourth. I remember last year we preseason ranked them fifth in the nation. They go on to get 30th or 29th or whatever. I don't even know what they got. They did really bad. But 2016 indoor, they do really well. They get third in the DMR, get some All-American finishes. 2016 Outdoor, they have a bunch of guys who are finalists in the Olympic trials. Craig Angles was top eight in both the 15 and the eight. And now 
They put it all together. Coach Van Hoy got them all on the same page, and they get fourth. And all these guys, MJ Erb, Craig Angle, Sean Tobin, Robert Domanic, Ryan Manahan, Trevor Gilly, Wes Gallagher, all those guys, when we see them this indoor season, this middle distance crew of guys are all sub four milers, they're all 750 guys in the 3K. They could score a lot of points indoor, and dare I say it, dare I say it, they could win a national team title indoor. <gasps> no. You got your fix. Getting ahead. McLaughlin's going to do it. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh. He just wham sauced the meat crew.